Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. Just finished workout on the treadmill and as usual, I'm going to share my opinion but today about the Xiaomi Mi Band 6 and how it performs in terms of treadmill, running outside, biking and so on. Before that, I will need to think. I need to breathe a little bit so that I can talk a little bit better. Second thing, I need a shower and I will be right back to share my opinion and what I think about the Xiaomi. Me Band 6. Okay, and now with a shower taken and a bit more relaxed, here we are to talk about the Xiaomi Mi Band 6 and share with you the experience that I've been having on the treadmill, running, um, cycling and a few other things. Now I'll be using and comparing with my ZipZ which is a smartwatch that is a lot more expensive. This is, has been my favorite smartwatch since about last year or so and I'll also be comparing with my chest strap for heart rate monitoring and also my iPhone 11 Pro. Now let's start with a basic thing which is the step counter. Using this device as a step counter, is it worth it or not? Now I'm going to show you three results right over there comparing with the Zip Z and regardless of the distance, just taking attention to the steps counter, what I can show you right there is that the Zip Z, for example, on one certain day, don't recall which one, gives me 10,592 steps and the Mi Band gives me 10,797. So which one is right? I don't know. I don't care. But I know that the difference is very small. So the error margin is small and that is really really nice and also compared with my phone. Now there is another example uh, with 9660 steps for the ZipZ and 9680 for the Mi Band and also I have another one 13,160 against 13,240 and I could give you a lot more results but I didn't record more than those but I think that this sample right over here gives me a confidence to say okay in terms of steps it is accurate so if your idea is to have this device to have a lot of extras that we will talk about a few of them but mainly to count steps so that it can motivate you to at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day to do a lot more steps then great one thing that happens to me for example here at the office sometimes i start here very early and i finish late and i look at the watch and i say okay two thousand steps uh, no it's just not enough and then i have to push myself to go to the treadmill or go for a walk outside or for a jogging session so that i do a little bit more so these kind of devices will help on that and the xiaomi mi band 6 is accurate in terms of step counter now Treadmill. Treadmill is one of the things that on the past, Xiaomi Mi Band 5, 4, 3 and so on, this is the sixth generation that I'm testing out. What happened is that you did a certain amount of kilometers or miles or whatever, it's your measure on your country. And if the band did not capture it correctly, then that was it. It was not correct. At this moment, the Mi Band 6 has something that I really enjoy on smartwatches things that we have on the Zip and we also have on Amazfit watches that I've tested so far and the feature is the calibration mode. When I finish my session on the treadmill I will have the option to say okay I didn't do five kilometers and something I did more or I did less and it will register and that is very important because my step my leg size the way that I run is different from yours and if I have the chance to at the end of every exercise to calibrate after one week, two weeks, depending on the frequency that we do our exercise, it will calibrate and it will be more accurate and accurate. And, and in a few weeks, we will have the device matching the results that we have on a treadmill or on our phone with the Mi Band. And this feature, which I'm not really sure it's not a scientific data that I'm going to share with you right now, but the truth is that running outside without GPS has been improving a lot. And I have to believe that it's due to the fact that I'm calibrating right over here and when I go outside it will measure better my steps and give me a better accuracy in terms of distance. Now talking about that there are two ways that we can use the Xiaomi Mi Band 6 outside. One of the ways is to open the Mi Fit app and once we open it will grab the GPS signal from the phone and it will grab the 
signal from there it will register on the map what we did and so on and so forth like we have seen in the past with the other generations but if we don't want to take our phone we just want to take this device then how does it behave now i'll show you on screen one of the exercises right over there um, where i did measure with my phone gps eight kilometers and 27 meters and the mid band shows me five kilometers and 93 meters now this is in my opinion not acceptable because the uh, distance is short and the error margin is large and this is not a good result this was one of the first runs that i did with the mid band 6 and i was honestly not disappointed because it doesn't have a gps but i was not impressed but after a few days a few weeks what happens is that it was getting more accurate now there is another exercise that i did records 11.58 kilometers with gps and the mid band shows me 11 10 and here we are starting to get somewhere now a longer distance and a shorter margin of error i also have another one with 13.6 kilometers sorry 13.06 kilometers and the mi band showing 12.58 so half kilometer of error and keeps improving this was one of the things that really impressed me now i also did uh, recently a walk with my kids with 5.51 kilometers with gps and the mi band 6 marked five kilometers and 56 which was really really cool really on par so another great result and a few days ago i did 16.55 kilometers with the gps smart and the mi band registered 16.80 kilometers so as we can see from the first example that i showed you to the last example that i showed you it evolved now the only explanation to me is that I'm calibrating it on the treadmill and when I go outside it will measure better my steps and it will give me more accuracy in terms of distance but I've got no scientific data that this is what happens is it coincidence what it is I don't know I'd like to believe that it has to do with the calibration mode now in terms of cycling if you are going to go on a bike then the only way is to open the app so that it can register the kilometers on the past we have seen some devices that we don't need to open the app it doesn't have gps and nonetheless it will give us a few kilometers but i don't know if it's the speed of the wind or whatever it's just guesses here it doesn't allow to give that guesses and honestly i do agree with that because either it will give us a good result acceptable result or it doesn't need to give us a result at all so if you are going to go on a bike then you will need to open the app heart rate monitor is another thing that you might want to use it it's fun to to check out our heart rate and what i can say is that in terms of our heart rate while in rest it is quite accurate compared with my chest strap compared with the zipsy and i can't complain right over there the only situation where i see that it's not that accurate is on high intensity exercises like running and there are a few moments that i really push myself and but not to the maximum i've got a few results and hopefully i can show you one that gives me 185 for example uh, beats per minute while in reality the, ma the maximum that i went was about 160 something 170 so the mi band will exaggerate a little bit when we are on the high end of our heart rate but taking a look at the chest strap taking a look at the watch and most importantly taking a look at us if you do jogging sessions if you do some kind of exercise with the time with the help of some tools like chest straps and things like that you will feel your body you will know that your heart rate is not above 170 and not near 180 because you can feel it you can breathe and you can talk 185 you can't talk and you are really really pushing yourself but it's not all the time it's just here and there sporadic so just have this this in mind if you are on 185 and you are feeling okay yeah i'm okay well, what's happening then you are not on 185 when we are resting then it is accurate and one of the things that it will help is to measure our sleeping patterns there is one test that i do with all the devices uh, my sleeping pattern is difficult i wake up a lot and i sleep not 
and I don't sleep many hours per night. But when I have the chance to sleep a little bit after lunch, a siesta, like we call it here in Portugal, what happens is that some devices will capture, which will pass my test, and some devices don't. And the Xiaomi Mi Band 6 passed. If you take a look at one of the siestas that I did, uh, it will show me about 40 minutes or one hour, something like that. So that is just great. And this will give us two results, one of which is the heart rate monitoring, and the other one is the sleeping pattern. Now, battery-wise, on the side states, I think it's 12 or 14 days. The maximum that I could get was five days. Everything active and doing exercise almost every day and sometimes more than once a day. And what happens is that at the end of the fourth, fifth day, I will have to charge it or else no battery. So just have that in mind. If you have everything active, then the battery will deplete a lot faster. To wrap up, watch faces, it has a lot on the store, but honestly, in my opinion, the ones that I like are the ones that come by default with uh, the band. All the others don't say much to me. So here are my favorites. And actually my favorite is the one that I'm using at this moment. Shows me the steps, hour, uh, the percentage of battery, the day, and then my, and then the heart rate. And basically that is it. In terms of the unboxing, I'm not going to show you any unboxing or any other stuff because there are a lot of videos on the web. So in conclusion, is it worth it? In my opinion, yes. If you are someone that wants to don't expend too much money and I have a device that will probably help you, but this will always depend on us to motivate ourselves to move a little bit more, to give more step our day, then yes, because if I compare this to my chest strap, the chest strap is more expensive than this and it only gives me the heart rate monitoring. Of course, it gives me an accurate reading and it's different, but it's just one device for one situation and that's great. If someone doesn't take sport that serious, then probably this is a great option. I will have steps counter accurate, which will motivate. I will have notifications. I will have the sleeping pattern, the oxygen on our blood, reminders, notifications, which is great when we receive calls, emails, SMS and things like that. We have the stress levels, which to me doesn't mean much, the alarm. So we have a lot of features right over here for the price that it costs. And for the most part, it is accurate. And that being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.